Pirates in fourth place, but they're just five games back. The Cubs, though, now have fallen out of first place with that loss. Since June 9th, they're playing sub-500 ball. Should we be worried about their inconsistency? I, I, I mean, I don't know that I'd worry about them. It, that division's tough, as you just mentioned. Yep. And you could make a case for really any of the teams. There's, there's no dominant team there. And I think we get confused. We think the Cubs are that team that, that won the World Series. They're not. They have a lot of flaws. You know, the starting pitching, especially with Hamels going on the IL. Uh, they just signed Kimbrell. It's going to take him a while to get acclimated to everything. But that division you used to be able to just go get wins. Mm -hmm. You could go to Cincinnati and you were getting wins. Well, Cincinnati now is a thorn in everybody's side, and they're yeah. a very competitive team. The Cubs are a good team. They're just like most of the National League. There's a ton of good teams. There's the Dodgers, and I'm not saying it just because of the Dodgers. <laughs> no, agree, there's the I Dodgers. Agree. And then there's everybody else. Right. And the Cubs are one of those everybody else. Well, also, too, in the NL Central, think about it. Only five and a half games split up the entire division. It's crazy. It has to be one of the better divisions in baseball right now, especially just with the consistency of everybody putting up wins in that. Uh, let's bring uh, J.P. Morosi back in to talk about the Cubbies right now. Uh, Kyle Hendricks, J.P., is about to be activated off the I.L. Cole Hamels is now on the I.L. What are the Cubs planning to do with their rotation? Amber, it's a great question because uh, there are not a lot of great answers right now in terms of replacing the Hamill spot that's now open for them. Alizalea, as we saw tonight, has struggled. Tyler Chatwood has struggled in the rotation as well for the Chicago Cubs. You Darvish has not quite lived up to the potential they had for him in mind when they signed him that long-term contract. So the Cubs right now, Amber, you think about where their payroll is. Ownership has made some comments, probably not going to add a bunch of payroll at the deadline. I would not look for them to be in the market for the likes of Bumgarner or Stroman. One name to watch, though, familiar to the division, Homer Bailey, pitching very well for the Royals. Again, someone that's certainly had some health struggles in the past as well, but he is someone who certainly could be a nice replacement for them. Again, not the biggest name out there, but if they're going to make a trade deadline acquisition, I look for it to be maybe a bit of a smaller name right now. Homer Bailey might be in around the price range the Cubs can afford. Yeah, but it's not just uh, the pitching right now. I'm sitting here looking at the National League ranks for the Cubs since June 10th. I mean, the hitting, they're at the bottom of the National League, especially when it comes to yeah. their average with runners in scoring position. They're 14th in the American League since June 10th. Mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me, in the National League, so they're going to have to get that going. Thanks right. a lot, JP. Appreciate it.